Hi everyone. This is Alan from Be Hot Yoga. Happy Tax Day. Thank goodness in this year 2020, none of us have to pay taxes yet. So, a good thing today. Um, just once again, take it easy. It's really cold. It's going to go down to maybe 39 degrees tonight. So, have a beautiful class. I'll just give everyone a couple of seconds to get situated. Um, you'll definitely be seeing some of my fur babies joining me this evening. I know most of you are not used to seeing my face in the evening, but here you go. Have a wonderful class this evening. All right, stand up straight, feet together all the way, heels and toes touching. Go ahead and interlace your fingers underneath the chin, thumbs touching your throat. And let's begin. Inhale. Taking lots of room at the back of your throat, your elbows float to the ceiling, hold it to the top. Now exhale, drop your head back, look across the ceiling, find one spot as you bring your hands together, wrists together, elbows touch off your chest. Inhale. Dragging lots of air to the back of your throat, elbows float up. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Try to take the full six seconds to get as much air in your lungs as possible. Elbows float up. And then exhale, drop your head back. Hands come together, wrists come together, elbows touch. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Now relax your arms down by your side. You can roll your shoulders around and loosen up your neck maybe just a little bit if you need to. Alrighty. Let's get ready for our second set. Go ahead and lift your fingers. Once again, you can put the opposite thumb on top. It balances out left to right. Underneath your chin. And let's begin. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five, six. And now exhale for six, five, four, Three, two, one, elbows touch, inhale, and exhale, inhale, nice big deep slow breath, elbows float up, and then exhale, Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. A 
Let your mind slow down, bring yourself into your room today, and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. We like your arms down by your side. Once again, you can roll your shoulders around, loosen up your neck maybe once again. Alrighty. Let's get ready for our postures. Half moons up. Inhale, arms up overhead, sideways, and lifting your fingers, releasing the index fingers, and then stretching up and out of your waist and going left and right. See how your body feels today. And go ahead and stop in the middle, please. Palms together all the way down to the wrist. Cross your baby finger really tightly and your thumbs really tightly as well. Stretch up out of your waist and then go over to the right. Leading with your hip out to the left. Settle into a place that's comfortable to you today. And just breathe. In and out through your nose. Try to keep your arms as close to your head as possible. Leaning your body back just ever so slightly. You want to point your fingertips toward the back wall or wherever you're pointing toward the back. So it opens up your wrist joint a little bit more effectively. We're trying to stretch the whole left side of our body from our fingertips all the way down the left side of our body through our obliques, our intercostal muscles, down into our waistline. One more place if you like to. Stretch a bit more and change. Little birds back up to the center. Readjust the grip if you need to. Stretch up out of your waist. Now over to the left. Pushing your back to the right. And once again, just breathe. Chin away from your chest. It allows you to breathe a little bit more easily. In and out through your nose. On this side, we're trying to stretch the whole right side of our body. Starting up in our fingertips, traveling through our wrists, our forearms, our triceps. Our intercostal muscles, our obliques. Once you get into that right, right waistline. Maybe one day you'll actually feel it into your right ankle as well. Remember, it's all about the stretch up out and over rather than just bending at the waist. If you'd like to come on down now with the time a little bit further, if you can, stretch a bit more. And change. So we'll reverse back up to the center. Now drop your head back. Shake out your neck. Loosen up a little bit if you need to. And as we get ready for our first back bend, stretch way up out of your waist. And slowly first try to bring your arms as close to your head as possible and then slowly look down your back wall blowing your stomach gives the thighs toward the front of the room and change to the reverse come back up to center slowly bend forward at the waist Bend your knees if you need to. I'm in her. And walk it out. Do whatever you need to do to warm up whatever may be tight on your body. Squatting a couple times, rolling up on your toes. All righty. 
Let's get ready for our first set of hands to feet pose. Feet together all the way, bend your knees, put your stomach on your thighs, cup your heels from behind if you can, get those elbows as close as possible. When you're ready, suck in your stomach, lift your hips as you drop your head. Slowly pulling your elbows in back behind you as you lift your hips up to the ceiling. Hi, baby boy. Sucking in your stomach, lifting your hips, pulling down, both simultaneously. Suck in your stomach, lift your hips one more place. <laughs> and change. Slowly reverse, come on back up. And drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. Second set, half the time. Inhale, arms up once again, unless your fingers, release your next fingers, squeeze your head, stretch up out of your waist, and go back over to the right. If you're feeling strong this afternoon, go to where you left off, maybe. Going a little bit beyond your flexibility, if you're feeling good and strong today. One more play, stretch a bit more. And change, totally reverse, come back up the center, stretch up out of your waist, and now over to the left. Once again, really pushing your hip out to the right, keeping your chin away from your chest, leaning your body back ever so slightly, palms together all the way down to the wrists, really squeeze your baby fingers really tightly, and your thumbs as well. Go to one more place, stretch a bit more if you can. And change. So reverse, come back up to the center. Now drop your head back, stretch up out of your waist, second back bend, stretch up, and now go back. Stomach, hips, and thighs forward to the front of your room. Look at the back wall, look your eyes down the back wall. And change. So the reverse, come back up. Slowly bend forward at the waist. Hands come to the floor. And walk it out again. Squat a couple times. Alrighty, a second set of hands to feet pose. Feet together all the way once again. Bend your knees, put your stomach on your thighs. Get your elbows as close as possible behind you. Cup your heels from behind. If you can't quite cup your heels, grab your ankles or grab your calves, but make sure your palms are facing the front mirror. Get a grip wherever you can, siphon your stomach, lift your hips, and drop your head. Try and feel your spine lengthening, creating space between each and every vertebrae. as you pull down and lift up at the same time. Maybe you can use your forehead to push your knees back and up. And change, so we reverse. Come on back up. Hands back together. And arms float down by your side. Breathe. All composes up next, take a step out to the right. Measure if you need to, two tight fists in between your toes and your heels. The inside of your feet look like the number 11. Inhale, arms up, all fingers together, onto shoulder height and shoulder width apart. Inhale, as you exhale, bend your knees and sit down. Like you're sitting in a chair that's a little bit too far away from you. Keeping your upper body back. Sitting down a little bit more. Wiggle your toes to make sure the weight's in your heels. And change so the reverse, come back up. Second part, high up on your toes. As high as possible. Engage your abdominals when you're ready. Slowly bend your knees. You never have to bend your knees. Just work on your foot strength if that's what you're doing today. Come down to the level of a chair. Heels way up in the air. Change to the reverse and drop your heels. Third part, come up a little bit on your toes, squeezing your thighs together. And slowly, 
slide down. If you're going down your back wall, hey, you can have your shoulders and hips down the back wall. That's a good practice now to try to, to enable your body to stay as straight as possible. I don't go down very far. And change, so the reverse, come back up. Drop your heels, bring your feet back together and arms down by your side. You can roll your shoulders back if you need to. And breathe. Second set, once again, take a step back into the footprint. Measure again if you need to. Inhale, arms up. All fingers together. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees and sit down. you can engage your ankle joints so maybe the lower you'll be able to sit keeping your upper body back remember it's supposed to feel awkward not comfortable and change to reverse high up on your toes when you're ready engage those abdominals and slowly bend your knees your heels are coming way up in the air So reverse and drop your heels. Third part, come up a little bit. Once again, squeeze those inner thighs together and slowly slide down. Stopping wherever it's comfortable for you today. Change. So the reverse, come on back up. Drop your heels, bring your feet back together and arms down by your side. You can roll your shoulders back if you need to. Breathe. Last thing for a little water break is Eagle. Inhale, arms up, palms touch above your head. Swing your right arm underneath your left, twist your arms like ropes. Look, <laughs> palms together, thumbs next to your face. Bring your elbows down and sit down, stay real low. Bring your right leg high over around the left. It may, foot rate may wrap behind you, it may not. As long as you point your toes down to the floor, you're engaging your ankle joint really nicely. Squeezing everything in the center line of your body, opening up all the major joints in your body, and chains fully under your legs, under your arms, palms touch, left under right. Swing and twist it. Bring your elbows down and sit down and stay real low. And bring your left leg up high around over the right. As always, one side may feel completely different from the other. It sure does for me. But if you can actually separate your scapula bug behind you and bring your elbows down to release those shoulder blades, one day your fingers will land right underneath your nose. Change into your legs, into your arms, palms touch. And second set right away, right on the left again. Bring your elbows down, sit down, stay real low. Right leg up over on the left. Hey, Maynard. Squeeze. Change into your legs, into your arms, palms touch. Last side, left under right. Swing and twist it. Elbows down, sit down, and bring your left leg high over around the right. Squeeze. Change into your legs, into your arms, palms touch above your head. Now arms float down by your side. Breathe. Now have a little water. Dry your hands if you need to. And as always, feel free to take a break. If you need to take a break at any point, do what's right for you today. All righty. Let's get ready to balance this afternoon. Do your best, try not to have any judgments of yourself today. Standing forward to knees up first. <laughs> Shift your weight to your left leg and up with your right. Extend your knee, 
grab your knee, two inches below your kneecap, or round down and grab your toes, two inches below your toes. We're on the clock for one minute. Breathe. All you really have to do is lock the standing leg. Come back to re-engaging your abdominals and your quads every time it, either one of those muscle groups start to relax. Breathe. Keep leaning out through your nose. We're about halfway right now. Once again, this posture is primarily about the standing completely locked leg. As we come up on the end, last 10 seconds. And change, so reverse, stand up straight, shoulders back, chin up, chest open. Shift your weight to your right leg, inhale, pick up your left, extend your knee, Grab your knee, two inches below your kneecap, or round down and grab two inches below your toes. Lock your standing leg. We're on the clock for one minute. One side may be easier. You may be able to get do a little bit more on one side than the other, depending on all your joints in your body. Respect what's happening for you today. But most of all, just breathe. Try not to hold your breath at any point. And that's about halfway. Remember just to keep engaging your abdominals and your quads simultaneously. And the weight may move around on your foot totial side to side until it will, it will finally equilibrate into the proper place for you today. Coming up on the end, last 10. And change. So the reverse, stand up straight. Breathe. Let's try that again. Second set, half the time. Once again, shift your weight to your left leg and up at your right. Extend your knee. Grab two inches below your kneecap or round down and grab two inches below your toes. If you'd like to try something new, make sure that your standing leg is always completely locked. If you want to add on, it's up to you. Slowly, gently, you can bring your heel toward the front mirror or the front of your room if you have it. Then bring your toes back to your face, elbows down, and then bring your forehead to your knee. Change to the reverse, stand up straight, breathe. Shift your weight to your right leg and up with your left now, extend your knee, grab your knee or your toes, lock your standing leg, or on the clock. And it's just 30 seconds. The second sets of these postures, I envision of them being more experimental. If you try to try something new, this is where you do it. You don't have that long. Heel kicks out, elbows down, then forehead to knee. And change for the reverse. Stand up straight, breathe. All right, that's over for today. Moving on, standing bow. Bend your right palm up, then drop it down. Grab your ankle from the inside, then turn your body. Only your left shoulder should be visible in your front mirror or your front window. Left arm up next to your face, keep it there. On the clock, oh, you got one minute to kick and reach. The more that your arm stays up next to your head, the more you're stretching the whole left side of your body. Keep kicking back and up. Breathe. If you do see the toes coming up over your shoulder, off the, over the top of your head, feel free to come on down at your convenience. But otherwise, kind of stay up, opening up your hip joint on the right side, over halfway. We do have about 20 seconds left to go. Keep kicking and reaching and stretching.
change for the reverse. Drop your arm down by your side. And breathe. Left, pa, left side, left palm up. Drop it down. Grab your ankle. Turn your body. Right arm up next to your face. Keep it there. On the clock. One minute. Kick back it up and reach. Keep your arm, once you get up next to your head, that guarantees you're doing the stretching part. And it's pretty easy. But feel the stretch if you can, radiating from your fingertips all the way down your right side of your body. That way you can keep, concentrate a little bit more on kicking back and up. And I kind of give that halfway. Breathe. Stretching and kicking and reaching. And change from the reverse. Drop your arm down by your side. And breathe. All our long steps over with now. Second set, standing bow. Right palm up once again. Drop it down. Grab your ankle, turn your body. Left arm up. And kick and reach. If you're feeling strong, come on down. Uh, but make sure you're kicking back and up as well. One more place. And change with reverse. Arm down. Breathe. Last side. Left palm up. Drop it down. Grab your ankle. Turn your body. Ride them up. And kick and beach. Just 30 seconds. Stretch your fingertips forward, opening up your shoulders as you kick back and up. Come on down, kick up. And change the reverse. Arm down, breathe. Very good. Take a step to the back of your mat and towel. Let's get ready for balancing stick. Try to remember that your body should be in a straight line from your fingertips to your toes. All righty. Let's try it. Inhale, arms up. Inlace your fingers. Release your index fingers. Squeeze your head. Keep your arms next to your head. Take a step out to the right. Point your left toes behind you and slowly Pivot, leg up, body down, everything in one straight line. Just 10 seconds. And change, so the reverse, step back. Take a step to your left foot, point the toe, shift the weight. Right foot back and up, and pivot. Leg up, body down. Squeeze your head if you can. Keep stretching forward. Point your toes, lock your leg, and change to the reverse. Arms down by your side. Breathe. The heart rate should be a little bit elevated. The lower you bring your upper body down, it increases your heart rate. So it's your responsibility, through your exhale breath, slowly bring that heart rate back down again. Before we, after we do our second set though, inhale, arms up once again. Inlace your fingers, squeeze your head, right foot forward. Left foot back and up, and pivot, leg up, body down. Change, slowly reverse. Step back, stretch up, left foot forward, right foot back and up, and pivot. Leg up, body down. Change, so we reverse, step back, and drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. If you'd like to move your mat and towel, now be the time to do so. Or if not, just step over to the left side of your 
your space. For standing forward to knee. No. <laughs> standing separate leg stretching. Inhale, arms up, palms touch, step out to the right, arms down, turn your toes in toward each other, suck in your stomach and slowly bend forward. Chin up, shoulder blades back behind you. And you have a couple of options. Always, you can have your hands on the for the first set in front of you if you'd like. Or you can Run your hands down the back of your legs, cupping your heels from behind. Do try to get your elbows back towards your calf muscles if you can. If your hands are on the floor, try and keep your back as straight as possible. You don't want that curve in your spine. You want it to be straight as possible. So imagine that there's a string on your belly button, pulling it down to the floor. Keep your chin up a little bit, shoulder blades back and then roll into your toes and most of all just breathe allow your spine once again to breathe creating length and space between each and every vertebral joint and change to the reverse come on back up bring your feet back together arms up overhead and arms float down by your side. Breathe. Second set, inhale, arms up once again, palms touch, step out to the right, arms down, turn your toes one against, again, toward each, in toward each other. It lifts the hips up into a, a more amenable position for you. Slowly bend forward, chin out, shoulder blades back as you like your swan diving. Now run your hands down the back of your legs, cupping your hips from behind if you can, keeping those elbows right next to your calf muscles. And this time you can pull and lift at the same time, equal and simultaneously. Breathe. If you're forward to the floor, then maybe you need to take a closer step and actually get used to stretching the spine and the hamstrings both. They're both important. Breath control is the utmost importance as well. And change. So the reverse, come on back up. Bring your feet back together, arms up over your head. And the arms float down by your side. Breathe. Triangles up next. Inhale, arms up, palms touch. Take a step back, big step out to the right, arms down. Turn your right toes in, left toes in, right toes out a little bit. And suck in your stomach and bend the right knee, sit down. Try to get the thigh parallel to the floor if you can, and then go ahead and move your arms. Right elbows in front of the right knee, stretching your left arm up to the ceiling. Chin is on that left shoulder, stretching it up to the ceiling. As you use the right elbow to push the right knee back, breathe. Don't give up. This is the really strong strength posture. And change. We'll reverse, come up out of the lunge. Right toes in, left toes out. Suck in your stomach. Bend the left knees, now sit down. Once again, get the five parallel to the floor if you can. And then go ahead and move your arms. Left elbows in front of the left knee. Chins on that right shoulder. Looking up. And breathe. There's no weight on your fingertips if they're down close to your toes. The posture in our lineage, this posture is up. Everything's up, stretching up. The only thing going down is your hips. Breathe. Change, very good. So the reverse, come up by the lunge. Turn your left toes in, bring your feet back together, arms up overhead arms float down by your side. Breathe. Second set. Half the time. No, not really. Inhale, arms up. Pause, touch. Step out to the right. Arms down. Fold you. Right toes out, left toes in. Suck in your stomach. Bend the right knee. Sit down once again. 
Good, move your arms. Right elbow, right knee, stretching your left arm up to the ceiling. Breathe. That left chin is on your left shoulder. Arms at six o'clock, straight up and straight down. Change, very good. So the reverse, come up out of the lunge. Right toes in, left toes out. Suck in your stomach. Bring the left knee, sit down. Now go ahead and move your arms. Left elbow, left knee, stretching your right arm up to the ceiling. Chins on that right shoulder, stretching way up in the air, sitting down. And chins, very good. So the reverse, come up by lunge, left toes in, bring your feet back together, arms up overhead, and arms float down by your side. Breathe. Next up, standing forehead, standing separate leg, forward to knee. Inhale, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs over your head, step out to the right, lift your toes, pivot to the right side of the room, twist your hips, twist, 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 adjust your back feet. You want your feet facing the same direction if you can, that keeps your hips a little bit more even. Stretch up, tuck your chin to your chest, and slowly round down. Once your fingertips get to the floor, you can bend your knee up to bring your forward knee contact. The higher up, maybe sometimes on your fingertips, maybe you can get your forehead a little bit higher. And you want your two hips as close to in one line as possible. Change to the reverse. Turn to the front. Turn to the left side of your room. Adjust your back foot. Twist your hips if you need to. Stretch up, tuck your chin into your chest, and slowly round down. And forward to knee. Keeping your stomach engaged. Stimulating the thyroid gland. Try to keep your eyes open. Long exhale, short inhales. Change for the reverse. Come on up. Turn your feet back to the front. Bring your feet back together and drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. Compression postures always feel the most difficult. So do your best to really exhale and take little incepts, sips of air in and just concentrate on your exhale. Second set, inhale arms up. Once again, interlace your fingers, release your all palms together, cross your thumbs, take a step out to the right. Lift your toes, pivot to the right side of the room. Adjust your back foot, stretch up. Tuck your chin into your chest and slowly round down. Vertebra by vertebra. And for your knee. Change the reverse. Turn. And one more turn. Adjust your back foot. Stretch up. Curve back into yourself. Keeping your chin really tight, really tightly. It's a standing form of rabbit, actually. And forehead to knee. Change the reverse. Turn. Bring your feet back together. And drop your arms down by your side. Breathe. Now come to the center of your space. For our final standing posture. 
We have time for both tree and toe both today. So if you'd like to go into toe, we can have, we'll, we'll wait for a second set for that. Otherwise, stand up straight, shoulders back, chin up, chest open. Shift your weight to your left leg and up and give your right. Grab from underneath by the toes, let the knee just do what it wants to do. And bring your right hand in prayer. And breathe. At this point, you just want to bring your heart rate down. And change. So reverse. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. Breathe. Let's try the other side. Shift your weight to your right leg. In up. It could be left to grab. From underneath by the toes, then I'll allow the knee to do really what it wants to do. Bring your left hand in prayer and just breathe. Your two shoulders in one line and your two hips in one line as well. Keep the standing leg completely locked out and breathe. Change, totally reverse, stand up straight, shoulders back, breathe. Now, a second set of tree or toe stand if you'd like. Shift your weight to your left leg and up to your right once again. Grab by your toes. Let the knee once again do what it will do. Left hand, right hand in prayer, rather. If you're going in a toe stand, bring your left hand in prayer as well. Then slowly bend forward at the waist. When your fingertips get to the floor, lift your heel. Then come straight down over your toes. Then bring your hands back by your hips. Straighten your spine. Then bring your left hand in prayer. Then right hand in prayer. Toe stand change. And now everybody change from the reverse. Stand up straight, breathe. Shift your weight to your right leg and up to your left. Once again, grab. Left hand in prayer. If you're going into toe stand, right hand in prayer. Slowly, once again, bend forward at the waist. When your fingertips get to the floor about two feet in front of you, then lift your heel. That will allow you to come straight down over your toes. Then bring your hands back by your hips. Straighten that spine. Then bring your left hand in prayer, then right hand in prayer. Toe stand change. And now everybody change. So we reverse, stand up straight, shoulders back one final time. And let's go down to the floor for Savasana. If you need to readjust your mats and towels, do so right now. I will try to get myself situated so you, everyone will be able to see me. Hi there. All right. Lie down on your back for Savasana. Palms facing up. Heels kind of close together, toes to flop open to the side. Find your one spot on your ceiling and just breathe. Let your belly rise and fall. This was a time I was sure that I was going to get attacked by the cats, but they're all being very good. A few more deep breaths.
Alrighty, let's start the floor series. When you're leaving, pose it up first. Inhale, bend your right knee up. Interlace your fingers two inches below your kneecap. Pull your knee out to the side, then down toward your shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Tuck your chin deeply into your body. Elbows in close. Extend that left heel toward the back wall. Left toes back to your face. That way you open up the left hip as you pull the right knee to your right shoulder. If you keep both shoulders on the floor, maybe you need to pull a little bit harder with your left bicep to keep everything in one straight line as you pull and stretch and change on the reverse. Inhale, bend your left leg up. Excellently out to the side, then down toward your shoulder. Extend that right heel toward the back wall, right toes back to your face. Elbows in close to your body, tucking your chin. Exhale, pull and stretch. Pull and stretch. Equally and simultaneously. And change, so you reverse. Now inhale, bring both legs up, give yourself a big hug. It doesn't matter what you grab. It can be your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your fingertips, whatever is good for you today. I like to try and keep my tailbone as close to the floor as possible and keep my chin tucked and I push my knees a little bit down toward my belly button. Rather than pulling them up to my shoulders, I really want to concentrate more on my spine, getting a completely flat, one day, exhale all the air out of your body and change the reverse. Relax, release, Savasana. Second set, inhale, bend your right knee up. Interlace your fingers two inches below your kneecap. Pull your knee out and then down. Elbows in close to your body. Tuck your chin. Breathe. Extending that left heel to the back wall. Left toes back to your face. So you really engage that whole left leg as you pull your right knee to your right shoulder. Chain, so we reverse. Inhale, left leg up once again. Pull it out and then down. Really give it a tug. It's kind of hard to hurt yourself since you're in control completely and really extend that right heel toward your back wall. Toes back to your face, engaging the anterior tibialis muscle. That's the muscle that runs all in front of your lower leg bone. Exhale, pull and stretch. And chain, so the reverse. Once again, inhale, bring both legs up. Give yourself a hug. Pull or push. Exhale is the most important. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And change, so reverse, relax, release. Savasana. It's now time for our first sit-up. If sit-ups are for you today, just roll over onto your stomachs and come on over. Otherwise, flex your feet or bend your knees. Inhale, arms up. Stretch up. Stretch your toes. Exhale twice. Shh, shh, nose to knees. And come around onto your stomachs for the spine strengthening series. First up, cobra pose. Working our lower spine. Fingers in line with your shoulders, elbows in close to your body, chin on the towel. Get ready. Inhale, lift up. Come up to a nine degree angle with your elbows, looking up, squeezing your glutes, feet, top of your feet firmly planted on the floor, elbows in, eyes up, chin up, and chain. So reverse, chin down, and look to the left, right, left ear on the towel. Breathe. Ten second postures with a 20 second rest in between. And second set. 
Fingertips in line with your shoulders, elbows in close to your body, chin on the towel, squeeze your legs together, get ready, inhale, lift up, boom, look up, eyes up, chin forward, squeeze your glutes, engage the whole lower spine, really feel that lower lumbar spine activated, and change from the reverse chin down, and look to the left, right on the towel, arms down by your side, breathe. Next up, locust. Now lift your hips and slide your hands way underneath your body, palms facing the floor, little baby fingers touching underneath you. Now, point your right toes, lock the right leg, lift the right leg back and up. Out of the hip joint, then up toward the ceiling. Keep your two hips in one line. Stretch back, stretch up. Change from reverse. Point your left toes, lock the left leg, lift the left leg back and up. And change. So reverse, mouth down, kiss the tail, we adjust your arms even closer. Maybe get your elbows touching underneath you. Get ready and then lift up both legs at the same time. Mouth down, hips up, hips up, hips up. Change, reverse, woohoo! Arms down, legs down, arms out, look to the right. Breathe. That is a tough posture. But it may be you concentrate more on lifting your hips and not worry so much about what your legs do, then maybe it'll, over time get easier and easier and easier. That's what I'm working on. Remember, it's just a practice. Every day can be a little bit different. So like I said, lift your hips, slide your hands underneath your body, palms face the floor, chin down, point your right toes, like the right leg, lift the right leg back and up. Change. Point your left toes, lock the left leg, lift the left leg back and up. And change. Mouth down, kiss the towel, readjust your arms. Really try to get your elbows as close as possible underneath you. Get ready. Inhale, lift both legs up. And change. So the reverse. Arms out, and look to the left, right around the towel, breathe. Your heart rate can become really elevated in that posture. Once again, use your exhale breath to slowly bring your heart rate down, and calm your breath. Next up, full locus. Arms out, shoulder height, all fingers together, chin to the towel, squeeze your legs together as well, get ready, inhale, lift everything above the floor. Chin up, chest up, legs up, stretch up. Look up, eyes up. Stretch. And change, so reverse, chin down. And look to the right, left around the towel, breathe. Second set, <laughs> chill the towel, arms out, get ready, inhale, lift everything up, up before, squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, eyes up, arms up, look back, stretch up, swan dive, and change, we'll reverse, turn down, and look left, right on the towel, breathe. The final part of our spine strengthening series is floor bow. So bend your knees and grab your feet from the outside, or if you're having difficulties with your knees, you can turn over and do bridge. Otherwise, bend your knees together, start, keep your head on the floor, just keep your legs up. Once you feel your legs coming up off the floor, lift your chin and your chest up and look up and stretch up. Roll forward and kick up. Vayner. Kick up. Roll forward, kick up.
change. So reverse chin down and look to the left. Right, right, rather left here on the towel. Breathe. Second set, chin the towel. Bend your knees, grab your feet. Keep your head down on the floor, just kick your legs up. Once you feel them coming up, lift your chin and your chest up and look up and stretch up. Roll forward and kick. Look up to your, see your toes coming up over the top of your head. Wiggle them. Maybe you can see them. Stretch. Roll forward and kick. And change. Very good. So reverse chin down. Woohoo. And look to the left. Right on the towel. Arms down by your side. Breathe. Alrighty, hands underneath the shoulders. Come on up to the top of your mat and towel. It's time for fixed sperm. If you're having any knee issues today, you can have one leg stretched forward and one leg back. And just go back one elbow at a time. Or if your knees are feeling good today, it doesn't matter how far or wide or close they are together. It depends on what you feel is right for you today. Go back one elbow at a time, back of the head down, head down, shoulders down, grabbing opposite elbows over your head, and breathe. You want to keep a, that bridge shape underneath your back. So imagine that the belly button is the thing that's highest to the ceiling, keeping your chin tucked, And change, slowly reverse, hands to your feet, slowly come back up, using your elbows and shoulders, come up to the top of your mat and towel, release your knees, and turn around onto your backs for Savasana. If you feel, if it feels good today, stay in the posture, and we'll catch up after the second set. Breathe. All right, and now sit, sit up, flex your feet, or bend your knees, arms above your head, and now come up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice, nose to knees, shush. Come around, now, second set. Fix firm. Once again, you be the judge of what your knees tell you to do today. Mine feel pretty good, so I'm gonna bring them really close together, and I'm going to go back one elbow at a time, back of the head down, head down, shoulders down, and then grab opposite elbows over, head, over my head. If you can remember which elbow was on top, switch it out. It's the one that feels not quite as good. Keep stretching your knees down to the floor. That stretches your quads really effectively. And Keep your hips down and just lift your chest and belly button up to the ceiling. And change. So reverse, come on back up. Using your elbows and shoulders, come up to the top of your mat and towel. Release your knees. Turn around onto your backs for some asana. Breathe. Alrighty, time for another set. Flex your feet, arms above your head, and now come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice. Come around now. Sitting down at the back of your mat and towel, with your knees all the way together. We do the next three postures, one right after another. First up is half tortoise. Inhale, arms up, palms together, cross your thumbs over your head, stretch up, 
and slowly come forward. If you have any back issues, you can always slowly come forward and, and you get to the same place as everyone else. Stretch up, keeping your hips on your heels. And this is an opportunity to stretch your spine. So let your spine lengthen and relax. Hips through your heels, fingertips toward the front of your rooms. Breathe. Change to the reverse. Arms down. Breathe. Come up on your knees now for camel. Separating about hip width distance apart. Hands go to your back. Palms facing the front of your room. Stretch up. Push hips forward. Look across the ceiling. Find the back wall. And just stay here. Try to bring your elbows as close as possible together behind you. It opens up your chest really effectively and allow your head to just fall back. You don't have to necessarily grab for your heels if you're not quite warmed up enough to do that. And I, and I prob probably would suggest you don't grab for your heels without the heat. Just open up your hips a little bit more. Open up your chest. Exhale and push. Push. Change. Slowly reverse, hands to the back of the down to your feet. Sit down. Breathe. Now it's our time for rabbit. Flip a towel over the back of your heels if you need it for your grip. Otherwise, grab your heels. You want to stretch up out of your waist, then tuck your chin into your chest and lean back into yourself. And then slowly come forward, curving your spine like the letter C is in cat. Bring it forward to your knees, pop the forward, get a good grip of your hips right here. Change to the reverse, come on slowly back up, vertebra by vertebra. Chin off your chest last, turn around onto your back for Savasana. If you're working on improving that posture, that rabbit, try and see if you can keep your heels closest to, as close together as possible. All right, let's turn over on our backs for Savasana. And breathe. Time for another center. Flex your feet, arms above your head. You know, come on up. Stretch up, touch your toes. Exhale twice. Come around now. Second set of our animals. All righty. Half tortoise. Straight spine, in all arms up. Palms together across your thumbs. Stretch up and slowly come forward. Try to keep your hips firmly planted on your heels and stretch forward. Get your forehead to the floor first and your baby fingers. It may take a while to de develop the core strength in order to do that. But remember again, it's just a practice. Breathe, exhale. This is preparation, getting our spine ready for our deepest back bend, our deepest forward bend, which of the two Postures that come after. Chain to the reverse. Arms down and breathe. Come up on your knees once again. Camel. Your knees can be loose a little bit wider. It opens up the hips a little bit more if you allow it to do. I like to keep my feet together behind me kind of makes like a tripod it makes my body feel more stable but do whatever is right for you hands to your back stretch up push ups forward look across the ceiling find the back wall if your hips are feeling open today then by all means grab one heel at a 
heel at a time, and just push your hips forward. You never want to sink back if you can. You want to always keep your hips and your knees in one line. Breathe. Change hands to back and bend down to your feet. Bring your knees together and sit down. Breathe. Seconds out of rabbit, flip a towel if you need to, or grab your heels from behind. Stretch up, tuck your chin into your chest, then round back into yourself. Then curve your spine, bring your shoulders forward, forehead to your knees, cup the floor, get a good grip, lift your spring here. Forehead knee touching, heels as close together behind you, lift hips. Change to reverse. Chin off your chest last. Turn around onto your backs once again for some box up. Breathe. Let your belly rise and fall. Alrighty, time for down the center, flex your feet, arms above your head, inhale, come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice, shh, come around now, our home stretch, now, sole the left foot on the right of your thigh, inhale, arms up, stretch up, turn, twist, round down, grabbing over the ball of your foot, that's where your toes connect to your foot, and then bring your elbows down so they land on the other side of your calf muscle, and then bring your forehead to your knee. If you do need to bend your knee up, feel free, but always try to keep your elbows coming down, releasing the scapula bones behind you. This is really good practice for the standing forward to knee. The more you release scapula bones, the more you'll be able to accomplish it. Breathe. Go to reverse, come on back up. Switch out your legs, left leg out, right leg in. If you have any knee issues, sometimes you don't want to put it as high up on your inner thigh. You can have it down by your knee, or you can have it just take it out of the equation if you do have some knee difficulties today. Otherwise, stretch up, turn and twist, round down. Once again, grabbing over the ball of your foot, bring your elbows down, and then bring your forehead to your knee. Breathe. Once again, one side may be diff more difficult or feel a little bit different than the other. It's pretty common. Change till you reverse. Come on back up. Scoot up a little bit and then lie back. As soon as your shoulders hit, come on back up. Stretch up. Touch your toes. Exhale twice. Shh, shh. Now, bend your knees. Put your stomach on your thighs. Leave it there. Leave that. Get that connection and keep it there and grab your big toes with the middle and index fingers, your piece on fingers, and then I just walk your hips back. Like racing to the back wall. All the while your stomach's on your thighs, your chest is on your knees. And then exhale. <laughs> exhale, stretch. Exhale, breathe. Exhale, lengthen. You don't want your spine to round too much. You want it to stretch forward a bit more in this final posture. 
Since we curved the spine in the previous two postures, we want to stretch one final time, length, lengthening for our padastasana, our final padastasana. Hands to feet pose. And change the reverse. Come around. Right out on your back. Savasana. Breathe. Put your feet on the bubble head, you know, come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice, shh. Come around now. Spine twist. Either extend your left leg or left knee toward the front of your room, crossing your right ankle over your left knee corner, right arm's really close behind you, left arm's up over and around, use the elbow to push your knee back out of the way, stretch up, turn twist, look over your right shoulder. If you don't need that hand behind you, you can pick it up and put it on your inner thigh. That way you can leave with your elbow and your shoulder follows and your chin follows the shoulder. If you have your hand, if you're down on the floor, keep it as close to the small of your back as possible. And then leave with your shoulder. Chin follows it around, wringing out your spine, chain. So reverse. Now switch out your leg. Once again, if you have knee issues, you can extend the leg. Cross the left ankle to the right knee corner, left arm's really close behind you. Sometimes if you stretch up a little bit more and then right arm up over around, use the elbow to push the knee back out of the way, stretch up, turn twist, and look over your left shoulder. Breathe. Leading with the shoulders, chin follow that shoulder around. Stretch, turn, twist. Stretch, turn, twist. Stretch, turn, twist. Change from the reverse, come all the way back around, onto your backs for Savasana. Breathe. Final sit up, flex your feet, on top of your head, inhale, come on up, stretch up, touch your toes, exhale twice. Shh. Come around now, sitting down, whatever way feels most comfortable for you for our final breathing exercise. Kalabati breathing is snapping your belly back to your spine, breathing in firms. All righty. You can always sit cross-legged or easy pose, or your legs can be extended out in front of you if you have any knee issues today. Otherwise, hands for knees, sit up straight, and let's begin. your lips, swallow a couple times, <clears throat> second set, we'll be just a little bit faster. And begin. job everyone now turn around onto your backs this is your final savasana take your time this afternoon if you have it close your eyes and just envision if there is still any tight spots in your body think of that spot in your mind's eye and send a deep cleansing exhale breath right to that area. Stay here for as long as you'd like. 
I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Stay safe, stay warm. I hope to see you all again very, very shortly. Have a great evening.